Hello guys, uh, this is Lior Barrell here. Um, today we're going to be doing flank steak. So I just wanted to show you guys what happened. So what ha I'm cutting them into, you know, by the bone. So it's like ribs, you see that right there? So you get ribs with more meat than you would buy in anything. Now you put about a cap full of everything. You know me, I don't measure anything. So uh, you can put rosemary in there. I put basil, oregano, uh, cap full, you know, of each one. Uh, cayenne pepper, um, was it uh, curry powder, and paprika. So... This is pretty good. So this is going to be my mix. Then I'm going to put some olive oil, mix it all up together like that. And then I'm going to throw them on the grill on the George Foreman. And you'll see how it looks. Really quick to make and really fast, really simple food. And it's really good. You could have it in a side, you know, you could put on the side like mashed potatoes. Or you could put some uh, fibers, like healthy fibers, like uh, um, broccoli and all that. I'm doing now a rich protein diet. So, you know, it's good to mix it up with good carbs like broccoli and all that good stuff. Okay, so it's ready to go in. There you go. Putting all these babies right on there. See, that's the thing that's good about the George Foreman grill, really, is the fact that you can, like, pretty much barbecue anytime you want. It's right in your house, indoors. You know, it's really fast, really cool, and it's the lean, mean fighting machine. It takes all the fat out, really good. I mean, these are already, you know, pretty good cuts of meat here. But, I mean, all of these usually have, you know, obviously, as we share with that. Definitely got to get the bigger one. <laughs> so, the flat there. Use that here. Right here. Be surprised how fast this thing cooks, too. Now, I know a lot of people like to marinate it overnight. Let the juices sink in, but I love the taste of the meat. And I don't like it when it's overpowered anyway. So I usually also don't have, I don't like, you know, I'm a dude, I don't have patience. <laughs> this is how I do it. Trust me, the flavor is all in there anyway. Well, it's a big cut right here. It's going to be hard now. Got to cook that extra. Right over here. All right, that's enough for now. Still got left over here. So be back in a few. Show you how it is. Well, you get the gist. There's still more cooking, but this is how the finished product looks. This is what I'm going to eat for today. The rest I'm going to save later. But as you can see, put some uh, sprinkled some parsley on it. So I gave it a nice little garnish here. But this is how it looks. Really, really good. Literally falling off the bones. So it's so damn good. Uh, beef flank. I mean, this is freaking amazing. It only took me about, what, 25 minutes to do. So there you go. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, dislike. Hey, have a good one. That's my mix. I mean, pretty much that's what I do with all of them. I know a lot of people put salt in there. I don't, you know, uh, kosher, kosher food already has salt already in it. When you buy glad kosher, it's already, you know, so, uh, soaked and salted. So, you know, it's all good. And, uh, you know, so all I add is just, um, you know, pepper a little bit and cayenne pepper, you know, a capful. Uh, pepper only a sprinkle. Uh, then a capful of uh, cayenne pepper, curry. Um, basil, oregano, and uh, paprika, and then I mix it all up with olive oil, you know, just mix it together and then just put it on the grill. That's it. That's my mix, guys. It really tastes good. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, some people like to put garlic in it, you know, gar garlic powder or fresh garlic. That might taste good. I just think it kills the flavor of the meat, so I don't really like it, you know. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know your mixes in the comments below. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.